Hello, hello, hello. Welcome into the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. It is Friday, August 20th. Hope you've all had an excellent week. We have new albums. One of those new albums is entitled Solar Power from an artist that goes by the name of Lord. You may have heard of her. This is her third studio album, follows up 2017's Melodrama, a massively successful sophomore effort. Big in energy, big in sound. Produced by the one and only Jack Antonoff. He's one of my favorites. He's back helping her out with Solar Power, but this is a very different affair. Very stripped back, focused on minimalism. And I like that. I like that the focus is on Lord and her vocal melodies and her lyrical performance here. Probably, you know, talk about both of those things, probably at her best on this record. It was really a lot of fun to listen to. She's 24 now, really digging her level of maturity, her perspective, her reflections on fame and everything that she has been through in, in a very fast amount of time at a very young age in her career. She just catapulted to fame after the release of Pure Heroin and then Melodrama, just building on that. And I think it's one of the, just the hardest truths to come to terms with. As a young person, you take your passion, you take this thing that you love, music being her thing, and then you add in money and you add in the career element and it very much changes the dynamic of it. So she takes a breather, retreats to New Zealand to just focus on herself and you know take a break from the fame. And you can just feel the catharsis that experience had on this record. I love the just the focus on like the New Zealand pastoral. This is very much a beach record, very ambient, very breezy. Probably one of my favorite summer records so far. I've really enjoyed listening to just the just the chill vibe that runs through this record from start to finish. Inspired by that folk, psychedelic, SoCal rock of the 70s. Think of Fleetwood Mac. It's the first band that comes to mind. But more than anything, the sound driving this record is like early 2000s pop. Think of an artist like Dido is the first one that comes to mind. Natalie Imbruglia, you know, that kind of like singer songwriter, but you just get this, you know, ambient chill kind of <laughs> electro folk is a term that I've heard ascribed to it, which I think is kind of funny, but it kind of hits the nail on the head. There's this, you know, very much, uh, you know, chill element, a lot of storytelling. Uh, it, it, it makes sense to a certain degree. So I like that. I like, um, I, I get elements of like Donovan, on this uh, on this album, uh, there's elements of bands like the Rolling Stone. She's like a rainbow, uh, is a song that comes to mind when I think of the track California. That's the third song on this record. There's just funny little influences that I kind of picked up on on a lot of these songs. That being one of them. This album kicks off with the track The Path, though. It's got this great vocal intro, gentle guitar that comes in, and it's a slow building track. I think of the song White Flag by by Dido, honestly, when I when I think of this track. It was the first thing I thought of when I heard it. And, you know, just slowly builds, gets this great beat that carries it out. Really just liking the structure of that song. Great way to open up this album. Solar Power is the second track. Most of you have probably heard that. Chill, groovy, love the muted guitar riff. Got that big coda with the Solar Power refrain there at the end. Kind of wish that she'd, you know, maybe stretch that out for another 30 seconds, maybe a minute. It's good. It's catchy. I really dug it. My only criticism of that song there. Stoned at the Nail Salon follows that third track, California. Your fourth song, I, I love the gentle acoustic riff and the vocal. And, you know, lyrically, just she's, I just, she's very humorous. Uh, I like, I love her kind of like snarky perspective in a little bit. All the music you love at 16, you grow out of is one of the lyrics in that track. And that resonated with me. I think it can resonate with most people. Still listen to a lot of stuff that I listened to in high school, but there is a fair amount of stuff that I'm just like, eesh, you know, part of growing up. Fallen Fruit, fifth track is the, you know, this isn't necessarily an album about climate change, but she has this moment where she's talking about that, but it's not preachy. Again, I think that song in particular, the way it's structured lyrically, it focuses just on the cathartic experience that comes from, from nature, from putting ourselves outside, taking a breath of fresh air. It's good for you. We need to do it more often. Secrets from a Girl, your sixth track. It's a conversation with her younger self. Natalie Imbruglia is the... The, the sound, the vibe that I'm getting from this track from a musical standpoint. But again, it's, it's kind of one of those just like funny things lyrically where, you know, you see her at 24 again, uh, reflecting on her younger self and some of the silly stuff that she's done. And it's, you know, cool listening to her reflect on that and the lessons that she's learned from those experiences as a young person. Man with the Axe, your seventh track. This is probably my favorite song. I love the echoey guitar tone. I love the way the riff comes in intermittently, the way that she is filling space on this track, the timing structure is 
is it's just very interesting and very well done. Super unique and fun to listen to. And you know, when you when you approach a record with this kind of minimalist thought process, you do kind of limit yourself in regards to, you know, just adding instrumentation and kind of building things, which, you know, melodrama had that vibe. So just a very well done track. You know, Jack working with her, obviously, in this regard. This is one of the things that he does very well. I thought it was a genius, but now I'm 22 is one of the lyrics in that song. Probably my favorite lyric on this album, that one right there. Just um, very humorous, but a lot of solid perspective built into that line that I think many of us can relate to. Oceanic Feeling is your final track. Uh, just breezy anthem. You get this uh, kind of like you talk about that electro folk feel. Uh, more of that kind of like thievery corporation vibe in this track. Big outro track. It's like six minutes long. I absolutely loved it. I wish more of the album kind of sounded like that song. And I would say that one of my main criticisms of this record is that as it does get towards the back end, it does stagnate a little bit. Um, I kind of wish that there maybe were a few more tracks where she had built in a, a little more energy. But overall, this is a really solid effort from her. Very pleased with it. Going to, to vinyl please it, obviously. Um, hope you find this review helpful, and I hope you enjoyed listening to Lord's new record. Please share this video and like it. Subscribe to the channel. And check out the live show when it returns on September 12th. And we will see you next time on The Beat Sessions.